What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where we're going to be talking about the summer transfer. So this is a breakdown. I will do a full review of some of the players that we've already packed, such as Timber, and I will have the, the opening as well at the end, right? So I will do all of these videos as you can see here. These summer transfers, you've got the Abbey, you've got Mount, you've got Timber, you've got Puli. Pulisic, Kondogbia, you've got eight players in here. You can get a free pack as well, a free opening if you play the event. So don't forget to do that either. Diaby, Pau Torres, Mount, Timber, them four are probably the picks of the pack and the picks of all the selection here, right? Now we're going to kind of make this a little bit different because we're going to like put the mid-tier guys or the mid-game guys, um, these four here, Kondogbia, Asensio, Madison, and Pulisic, they're going to be in their own tier, right? And then you have the upper tier as well, where I would say Diaby and Timber are definitely the best players to actually sign in here. But it's lucky. You get a 50% chance of getting four players if you want to spend 300 coins and you get the free one, right? So we're actually going to start with Pulisic. I'm not going to really talk so much about the actual training guides. You can see everything on screen there. Um, all we're going to do with Pulisic is, is pretty much max out his speed and his dribbling, right? Because when you have a card like this that has super sub, him and Asensio are going to be very similar cards with their impact, but they're going to be very different players on the pitch, right? Creative playmaker, Asensio is kind of like De Maria, doesn't have blister and pace, doesn't have excellent anything, but is brilliant at just combining plays and being able to pass, shoot, dribble, excellent player skills, whereas Pulisic is going to be all about pace, power and speed. And when I mean power, I mean actually just getting the ball and driving it forward. I'm not talking about collar strength, you know? Um, so Asensio is a good option to have if you're looking for something a little bit different. And I also would take a look at Madison as well. Him and Mount are very similar players. I think Mount is slightly better. I wouldn't say that Mount is going to be a player that is going to like get into many in-game teams. Madison definitely won't either, right? Madison is the type of player that he's got excellent player skills, but he just doesn't really do it on the pitch. The biggest difference between Madison and Mount and some players like that is their played style, right? Madison is down as a creative playmaker. Mount is down as a whole player. So all the player skills and all the stats, as I said, we've glossed over a lot of these players before and we've looked at different types of players. I do like Madison as an attacking midfielder. I would not be playing him as a right midfielder unless you're spamming balls in, which a lot of people don't do. Kondogbia is an interesting one as well, because it, when on first look at him, um, first thoughts, you're kind of saying he's too slow compared to who you're used to playing with. Maybe you're used to playing with Barrios, who's got 80 acceleration. Maybe you're used to playing with Marquinhos DMF. I see a lot of people using Marquinhos DMF now because he's so good. But Kondogbia is just a sit back, man. He's a sit, he's a sit in a pocket defensive at anchorman. Deep line on him, individual instructions, defensive and deep line um, for your attack and defense instructions. And I think when the game starts to get a little bit more towards the football 24, physical contact and slow down play style is going to be a little bit more powerful. I'm not going to say it's going to take over the meta of fast, mobile, versatile, one-touch uh, players, but this meta of the physical contact will come into it. I've seen a couple of clips from playing my live stream today that it does make a bit of a difference. And as I said, I will do a big, massive breakdown on Timber as well. Now, as for Mount, right, I would like to get Mount. I'll be honest with you. I would like to get Mount. But the problem is, with Mount, if you are going to be using him as a whole player, he's going up against pretty much the best cards in the game, right? Whole player attacking midfielders are a dime a dozen, but they're also some of the best selections in the game, right? I also like to play Nakunku as my main guy in the middle. Now, either on my road to glory or my main account if I have whichever card I use of him or else I like to use Messi in that pocket to be able to pass and shoot. Mount doesn't have the finishing. You can mess around with the stats there all you want. If you guys want any dedicated training guides on multiple versions or an alternative to, with GP, I will do that. Just hit me up in the comments below and we will get on it. I will do one on Timber where I'm going to have gameplay and show you why he's so beastly because I think Timber is the best player here and definitely who I'm happy I got with my road to glory. As I said, I will have the pack opening in a sec. Pau Torres as well. Very, very strong uh, player. Very, very strong player to come up against. I like players that are kind of mixed, that they have good acceleration, good speed, and very, very good on the ball. And a lot of that is linked up to the play style, play a build up, right? So I get asked a lot on the live streams. Why do I play build-up? Why don't you play destroyer? You know, they're more aggressive. The gameplay changes every Thursday, man. So you have to keep looking at things, right? Case in point, Diaby. Right winger, Roman flank, excellent stats, excellent skills. 
you can't like it's literally impossible not to have a 99 acceleration with any build that you do right and the reason for that is because he starts off with a 90 acceleration one of the fastest players in the game this is an insane card if you do pack him he's also got 31 levels which is absolutely ridiculous right and him and Paul Torres are teammates now as far as I know so that's going to be very interesting to see how they balance that when the game comes out in eFootball 24. Now, a lot of people will want to get Diaby for his pure pace, but you also get finishing. You also get passing if you want it because you have so much skills and so much stats and so much player progression points that it's very hard to keep him at 97, 98 acceleration. Now, the thing is, right, why bother maxing out his acceleration? I'm going to use Diaby as my main right wing forward whether I start him for a half or maybe 60 minutes and I literally just keep him up there by using anchoring to keep him hugging the touchline in, in individual instructions or counter target or both, where I'm just going to literally maintain his position, maintain his stamina, maintain everything and be flexible enough to come back, collect the ball when I want him to collect the ball. But he has insane stats. It tells its story there. But onto my main man, lads, it is going to be Timber, right? I think Timber is the pick of the pack here. We will have a proper review on him. I've started to do these reviews where you kind of like the gameplay clips and stuff. Because, listen, you do need to play with the cards to get a full appreciation for how they work. Stats don't tell the full picture. Timber stats do tell the picture. He's kind of like a cheat code, lads. He's so good. Him, Cardoba, Kunde, and I would also throw in uh, Cannavaro and Cardoba, as I said, into that kind of small based centre backs that if you do a little bit of tweaking with them, which in the case of Timber is not his stats or his training, it's his player skill level, right? Or his player skills that you need to tweak it up a little bit and give him heading or give him acrobatic clearance so that he has area superiority, acrobatic clearance and heading. He doesn't have those. Um, he does have blocker and he also has one touch pass, which is going to be unbelievable for a player that is an extra frontman because he'll bomb forward unless you don't want him to bomb forward. He'll give you an option up front when you are losing the game or you're chasing the game or, what, or whatnot, okay? So, I definitely do think he's a good option. I definitely uh, think he could be an absolutely insane player for you. But again, he does have limitations. This Timber card could potentially be the best player in the game if you don't have an epic like Tommy Yasu, Canavero, or Cordoba. But I still think that you need to be careful with how you use him because if you have the acceleration high, it's going to raise his offensive awareness, which means he might get a little bit um, going forward with the ball, right? But that's just a small thing. It's an absolute tiny little thing, right? So we are actually going to end up this video by opening the pack um, in a couple of minutes and see how we go from there. But look, you can't go wrong with Timber, lads. Trust me, you can't go wrong with Timber. We're going to open up our first pack here and see who we actually do get. I'm hoping for Diaby. Let's see who we get. Let's see who we get. I'll probably get one of the worst players on it, Kondogbia, probably to kick us off. Yes, I guarantee I will. I knew it. We get Kondogbia. But it's not, it's not the worst case scenario, lads, because... Listen, we did get on our road to glory. We got um, Timber, Pulisic, Kondogbia, and who was the Ford? Asensio. So, I mean, surely there are, the odds are in our favor that we'll either get Diaby or Mount or... Diaby, Mount or um, Pau Torres in this one, you know, by law of averages. But let's see what happens, right? So, we're going to go in and open up the rest of them here and see how we go. We've got two more packs. You can get a free one as well uh, if you play the challenge event. So if you play the challenge event, you can get a free one. That means you get four free spin, one free spin and three paid for spins if you want to go that route. It's probably a bust for me. I probably should have held on to my coins. We do get Pulisic, lads. He's not going to change a dial for me. Bit of pace, bit of a super sub. We'll try him. It's our main account, so he probably won't even get a sniff at the bench. Um, but look, it is what it is. This is the chance that you take. I do think that they're going to release a lot of players in the next two months genuinely i think that all of these players are just going to be i'm going to be so busy with videos and trying to cover them all and doing all the reviews i also did mention as well oh we're into english league we're into english league it's going to be timber i think let's go baby oh it's number seven mason mount for manchester united so not the worst case scenario lads i will be doing a load of streaming at launch week so i'm going to be off for a week taking a week's holidays to stream for the week with you guys so that's going to be fun we'll get a load of videos done but that's it for the video, lads. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video.